and they had a uh, Monsanto sticker on the door even. Uh, so, and there's still stuff inside. I don't know why they removed the sticker. I'm not sure if they got wind of us coming or what. But they're not here today. Uh, it is business hours Friday. But anyway, we're going to leave our cease and desist uh, notice on the door here. We're going to tape it up. And it reads, We the people of the state of Texas demand that Monsanto immediately cease and desist all operations within our state. Your continued abuses of our environment, disregard for public safety and welfare, and attempts to monopolize our food chain will not be tolerated. Attached, you will find a short list of your crimes against humanity that have led to this decision by the people of Texas, as well as a petition indicating our commitment to this order. Petition here. We demand within two weeks of this order that you cease and desist all operations within the state of Texas. Immediately issue payments in the amount of one year salary to all employees that will be impacted by your compliance with this order. Vacate all offices and property currently utilized in operations in the state of Texas. Hey, they got a head start. If you do not comply with this order in the time frame allotted, you will expect further legal action, both civil and criminal, for your continued violations and crimes against humanity, which include but are not limited to genetic pollution of the planet Earth, force feeding global citizens genetically engineered food, global takeover of the planet's food source. Sources. Contamination of natural food sources with genetically modified crops, including the defiling of legitimate natural farm property through cross-pollination. Illegal distribution between 2002 and 2007 of genetically modified cotton seeds without labeling in several Texas counties where the seeds are explicitly banned. Your negligence in the leukemia death of Texas Monsanto employee Jack Skeen, for which you've been found legally liable. Your role in the toxic herbicide disability and death of over 400,000 U.S. troops. Hiding the truth about the danger of PCBs and endangering the public health, despite knowing your product, aerochlorus, could lead to systemic, sorry, systematic toxic effects as early as 1937. The abuse and murder of the men, women, and children of Anniston, Alabama, by refusing to attempt to limit the discharge of PCBs and the callous dumping of over 40 tons of mercury in the storm sewers of this community, continued violations against EPA and Texas waste management regulations. Again, we, the people of the state of Texas, feel that your flagrant abuse of our environment, our food supply, and our people can no longer be tolerated. We will no longer allow you to buy your way out of illegal activities through fines and political manipulations. This will act as your final notice to cease and desist operations. You will receive no further notice. Failure to comply with this notice will result in criminal and civil penalties, as well as the people's focus on a targeted campaign to remove your operations from the state of Texas permanently.